Hello and welcome back to Lucrative. Last time we provided you with a video concerning 5 things poor people do that the wealthy do not. And you guys really liked it. Which we greatly appreciated. Therefore we do more research and ask more ultra successful people about the subject and today we will provide you with another list of 5 things poor people do that the wealthy do not. First of all, poor people don't shower as often as rich people do. We had initially thought that this was just a made-up story, but it turns out to be true. When you think about it, it explains a lot. Most of the jobs today are in the service industries where human contact is a must in order to have a successful exchange of value. In the long run, people with poor personal hygiene will be less successful than their peers. They tend to be less trusted. People want to spend less time in their presence, which has ramifications in their personal lives. If people don't like you and don't want to be around you, what kind of partners will you attract? Exactly. Taking an early morning shower is the first step to success. Number 2, Poor people blame others for their misfortunes. Who do you know who has some kind of excuse or blames another factor for their lack of success? Some things are out of our control, but you are responsible for 99% of what happens in your life. Keep in mind that you are in control of your life. You are in control of your relationships. It is your responsibility to take care of your health. If you want these to change, do something about it. Life is not what happens to us. It's how we react to what happens to us. When something bad happens, the poor choose to victimize themselves while the rich look into it. Study it. Their goal is to understand what happened, why it occurred, and how they can prevent it from happening again. While one assumes the position of a vulnerable victim, the other uses it as a growing point. Number 3, the poor have no money saved up. Poor people don't prepare for what's next, which is one of the differentiating factors between them and the rich. Having money put aside allows for growth. Let's say something bad happens. If you have money put aside, the problem is solved and you can resume your life. If you don't, and the situation is urgent. What do you do? You either liquidate an asset like your car, house, or you can take out a loan for the rich when the situation is over. For someone who is poor, their lifestyle has been drastically affected or now belongs to their creditors. Now let's look at the exact opposite. An opportunity arises. Some people have already saved money for the future, and they can take full advantage of this opportunity, while others cannot. That's why the rich are getting richer while the poor are getting poorer. Number 4 Poor people use credit cards or take out loans for useless things. In terms of how they deal with credit, rich people and poor people differ greatly. The rule is simple. When you borrow money to purchase something that doesn't generate more money than the loan. Don't take it. It's that simple. Credit should only be used for investments. Do you want to take out a loan for a large PS5? Do you want a loan to furnish a new home? Do you want to use credit cards to get the new iPhone? Don't do that, unless you're flipping the supreme gear for profit or you're using your iPhone to develop a new app to grow your business. These items should not be on your credit. Number 5. Poor people tend to have more kids, and earlier in life. The truth is kids are really 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 expensive. We all know how fun it is to make them, or at least practice making them. But people get stuck up to this point. They don't think it's true. Just to give you a sense of perspective, if you're living in one of the more developed countries, raising a child will cost you approximately $250,000. As a result of a poor environment, poor people tend to have more children and at a younger age than their wealthy counterparts. In contrast to the rich, who wait a few years until the standard of living improves before encouraging their child to flourish, the poor just do it right from the start. Once the baby is born, the struggle to survive begins, and progress beyond barely surviving is virtually impossible. Nonetheless, we understand that for some of you, having kids is very important, and if this is one of your goals, go for it. Just keep in mind that you need to prepare a lot financially. With that being said, these are the other 5 things the poor do that the wealthy do not. We will provide you with more valuable content similar to this and we hope this is beneficial for your journey of financial success.